Again, the idea is this is where the students build their project, but in slide format, not in code or you know, not live running, it, it, not in that way yet. So um, the, the title, um, this is where here, this is where they will put the name of their project. And it says right here, put the name of your project here. This is where they will list their team members. And then um, right here, they can take the slides which they've already created their, their project team information. And they can put their NABC right here. And then the rest of the presentation is new and they can start to build these slides. This slide is basically a, what is your project slide? Um, this slide, if you need to, can be broken down into two or three sides if you want. Uh, one side can be what is the problem or need, and the other one can be what's the solution. You can do it that way. Um, or you can put it all on this one slide. There's a problem, and here's the, the solution that we have. Any validation information that you learned, you can put it on here. So you can write... Um, Every user that we talked to said that they like this feature or they want this thing or they need it or is, you know something like this. And this slide is all about the why you're doing this project and a little bit of what is it. Um, and you can use elements from your NABC. You can use part of need, approach, benefit, competition, um, any of that kind of information, maybe with a little bit of a picture, you know, something like that, uh, enough to frame or explain what the project is. That's what goes on this slide. The second slide of the low tech demo will be the user perspective. And it will be how will people use or see your project? So you can take one thing that you want to illustrate like how the user will see it you can make up a mock screenshot of how it will look it could be complex it could be simple it's fine um, you can also take and this is a really good idea make a storyboard for one of the key tasks so um, let's say that um, you know one of your tasks is that you're going to enter an, an address, a physical address. And then um, when you hit return, it will, um, sh it will um, sh give you a page like this where you will click on this map link. And when you click on it, it will, um, you know, maybe it'll provide some crime statistics on this page. And then you click on it and it'll show you a map and it'll show you say um, where there is uh, more crime uh, around your address or less crime around that address. Okay. We're just making up this application, but any sort of storyboard. Um, you know, if this was um, like uh, Airbnb, um, then the illustration would be you enter the location where you want to go and it shows you a map of where you could be renting. And then you click on, you know, something like rent and it shows you like enter your credit card number or or you know, book it or something like that. Um, but it's like a sequence of two or three things that are going to happen um, in order to like perform one task, which is central, which is like very illustrative of what your application is supposed to do. All right. And and when you do that on this slide, you can say what you think is going to be most important. Is it gonna be how easy it is to use? Is it gonna be how fast it is? Is it gonna be um, how it looks? Is it gonna be the accuracy of the results? You know, for example, if it's a stock market application, um, maybe how it looks is less important, but the accuracy of the prediction is more important, you know, something like that. Um, it's really up to them based on everything they learned from talking to a user and from, um, you know, other things that they've been thinking and brainstorming, but basically um, take whatever they learned and make 
a view of how the user should see what they're doing, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> the next slide is the list of technical components. So in order to make that happen, what are the key things that they need to be able to do? Uh, maybe they need to have a user interface. Perhaps they have to send an email. Uh, perhaps they have to use some complex algorithm like a neural network. Um, probably not, but you know it's possible. Um, uh, maybe they have a question of like, where is the data going to come from that is going to make this work? And the things that they think they can do easily because they know how to do that with their technology, um, they can do by marking in green those things that are difficult to do because they don't know and there's a steep learning curve and it's not obvious, then they can do that um, by marking it in red and everything else they can say if it's in the middle or neutral, it's black. And of course, anything that's in red, they need to start researching it right away. So um, they're gonna start to build things and get it working, but at the same time, somebody on the team has gotta be studying and figuring out how is it gonna be possible to, to, um, to overcome some of the, the things that are the red items, okay. Um, the, the, you, they will put in one more slide, one or two slides, and this is called an architecture slide. Um, this, these are all examples of architecture slide. They don't have to use any of these exact versions. It could be, um, for example, the input comes from, say, taking a poll on the website, and then we take the information in and we, um, you know, uh, make a prediction, and then we send an email or we post it on a website or something like that's that. And, and where do we keep the data? So like, this is an example of an architecture. Um, another example of an architecture, this is called a data pipeline. You can say it's going to come from here, this database, and then we're going to run some analysis, and then we're going to show a chart or a visualization. That's also that pipeline um, that that's a way of communicating architecture here's another one client server uh, we're gonna have clients they're all gonna um, uh, you know use the web to get to our back end and this is the logic that we're gonna run on the back end and this is the logic that we're gonna run on the front end um, some of the students are going to be very novice and this is not going to mean much to them uh, and and so However, they want to draw maybe a flow chart, something very simple they want they want to do to explain what they're gonna what the uh, architecture is going to be. They can do it. If students are more advanced, then they can explain their architecture in different ways. Here's one more sample slide. They don't have to use any of these, but they're just illustrations. This is this sample is a data structure. So you know it's like a database and it shows, um, with the, this data, how is it keyed to other information? And, and if the data model is very important to what they're doing, then this might be something that they put into their architecture. Some sort of architecture. Uh, they might probably only need one picture. They could do two, whatever it is. Okay, that, so let's just review what we have so far. Um, they've got their title. They've got who's on the team. They have NABC. What's, what's the project? How does the user see it? What are the pieces that are in it? And um, some sort of architecture picture. And then after that, they're going to put in personas. So a picture, a little bit of demographics about who is the user. Um, and this is where they can put in um, the personal, like what do they do or what do they want personally? Um, and they can, this is where they can write something about life before and after. They've already collected this type of information, so they just have to put it um, into the slide. Okay, and um, from here, you know, their goal is how can they get started 
very quickly. What simple thing could they build, demo, show? What could they do so that they've got the minimum version of something that works? Can they make a web screen that just says a few words on it? Can they write a program that takes an input and gives an output? Like no matter how simple, um, what is the thing that they could demonstrate as the first version of whatever they're making. 